We are in a tropical food forest jungle. Every plant that you see from here on out is edible and planted on purpose. You should have seen it when, it, when these trees were loaded in fruit just a couple months back. There was a... I was scared I was going to smash the windshield driving through here. There was so much fruit on the trees. I see some jackfruit trees right over here. Here we go. Here we go. We got a whole forest here. Whole forest of jackfruit. We can stop here and go. Cool. Right. Yeah, that works for you. Cool. In the jackfruit orchard. What we are doing out here is we are walking through a jackfruit orchard. Jackfruit is the largest tree-borne fruit in the world. It is the fruit that inspired the flavor of juicy fruit chewing gum. And it is highly prized and sought after for its lumber. It makes a really nice, good hardwood. In order to hold such heavy, big fruits, they would have to have strong wood. Look at that cluster up there, gorgeous. There's a lot of jackfruit out here though. It's amazing. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, I've seen jackfruits produce fruit in as little as two years planted from a seed. So it's really like a uh, fruit tree that you really don't have to wait very long for the fruit, even if you're planting it from a seed. I've done it in Sarasota in just two, three years. I want to find the, the specimen tree though, you know? The one that calls out to us. Which one had good cluster action here? This one's got, oh, this is a, this is a nice specimen tree right here. Oh, look, there's a passion fruit growing up the jackfruit tree. That's nice. I got the, that's a perennial polyculture right there. You know, you've got this passion fruit vine climbing up this jackfruit tree. Who wouldn't want that in their yard? Beautiful, beautiful tree. Now the jackfruit trees, they'll get as big as oak trees if you let them. You don't want to let that happen because you do not want to climb 50 feet for a jackfruit. You also don't want these things plummeting to the ground. So if you're going to plant jackfruit at home, which I highly encourage people to do, um, you want to maintain them at a height of about 12, 15 feet max. Because you don't want these fruits plummeting to the ground and you don't want to have to climb for them. It's, it's actually risky to climb up high, cut down a 50 to 100 pound fruit up in the air. So just if you plant them, just keep cutting them back every year or so, you know, uh, just to maintain a manageable height that isn't going to require ladders and stuff to harvest, you know. Look at this one up here, how high that is up there. I mean, that that's a nuisance, you know, to go up that high. I mean, that's not, I mean, they get a lot higher than that, but uh, I mean, that's probably a 25, 30 pound fruit right there, you know, and then to have that weight suddenly drop into your arms after you've cut it down. So uh, yeah, don't. Don't let the jackfruit trees get out of control because they will grow to be the size of oak trees if you if you leave them alone long enough. For ripeness on a jackfruit, I don't want to say that they're soft, but they definitely give in to pressure when you kind of squeeze them, you know? They're they're spiky, so I don't want to say it's a soft fruit, but you know, one you feel one that's not ripe and it'll be very firm. You can almost let's, let's find the fruit. You see, like uh you can even I mean, you can knock on it and hear it, you know, but well, one that's ripe and ready to cut, it'll give into pressure when you give a squeeze. This doesn't give into pressure at all. If you look at this one over here, you can see it giving into my squeezing here. So that's how you know it's a perfectly good and ripe jackfruit. Probably 60 to 70 pounds. It's a big boy. And this is a, I mean, they get bigger than this. I think the largest on record was like 100 and. 30 to 160 pounds or something crazy like that. I think I should uh, crack this boy open. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's going to be quite heavy. It's got, I'm just going to let it fall to the ground because <laughs> I don't want to catch it. Oh. I'm just going to... Really, you'd want a longer knife for a job like this. But I'll get through it. Oh yeah. Flip it over one more time. Now we're making a mess. So there's a sticky latex that is very commonly found inside jackfruit. It's, it looks like a white sticky gum. That latex 
it will not come off with soap. So no matter how much soap you use, it will not come off. However, the sticky jackfruit latex will very easily come off if you use any kind of oil, olive oil, any cheap oil, canola oil, just any kind of oil, rub it in uh, and use some sort of friction. Oil will take jackfruit sap off right away. Look at this gorgeous beauty here. Monstrous sized fruit. What I like to do is when I'm uh, processing a jackfruit, I actually like to cut it into quarters, long ways. Because when you cut it into quarters long ways, it makes it, this is the stem that runs through. It's really best if you try to come in. And obviously this is like rustic caveman style. But you want to come in and remove the core as much as possible. Because when you remove the core, try and clean this up a little bit. Again, this is very rustic and primitive. I'd be much more precise if we were at the store. But removing the stem makes it really nice and easy to open up. And it exposes all these beautiful arrows here. And it makes it really easy just to pull them all out and process the jackfruit. So yeah, I would recommend cutting the whole jackfruit lengthwise into quarters, cutting out the core, and just coming in and ripping out the arrows like that. You'll get hundreds of chunks just like that in one large jackfruit like this. And remember, within the, within the arrow is a, is a seed like a chestnut, which don't throw it away. Please eat them, they're fantastic. Yeah, this is a really, really nice jackfruit. I'm impressed. Hmm. I'm in heaven. It's paradise down here. This jackfruit from this farm is coming to a Detweiler's location near you. Locally, Florida grown jackfruit. Absolutely delicious. If you live in Florida and you don't have a relationship with jackfruit, are you really a Floridian? I mean, just come on, get on our level, folks, really. <laughs> so I got a bunch of the jackfruit latex on my hands and I went to pull some leaves to rub it off, but it's really just becoming an, a horror show over here with, we gotta go find some oil so I can get this off of my hands. Otherwise my hands are gonna be glued to the steering wheel on the way back. 